Hello, my name is Andreas To. I'll be presenting on the Myrio device that I'll be using for my EE4455 Embedded Systems project. So this is the Myrio. The Myrio is a student-friendly real-time embedded evaluation board made by National Instruments. It's used to develop basic applications that utilizes its onboard FPGA or Field Programmable Gate Array and Microprocessor. It requires the LabVIEW software. The Mario comes with an inbuilt 3-axis accelerometer here, and can support Wi-Fi, which are the key components for the project that I'll be building. For my project, I'll be building an air music device where the Mario will be able to play musical notes using different angles of rotation. So without further ado, let me give you a demonstration of my project. Okay, so for the project, I also included a vibration meter where there are four LEDs that indicate how much vibration stress the device is going under. So, if the, the device is going a harder vibration, there will be more lights and a lesser vibration, there's less lights. As you can see, there's now only one. So if I shake the device a little bit, there will be two. And the harder it goes, the more lights will appear. Okay, so this will show the, the user how much stress the device is going under and whether it can handle the amount of force the user is putting onto the device. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so here I have the Myrio device connected by cable to the computer. So this is to configure the Wi-Fi for the Myrio. Firstly, I wanted to make the project a wireless one as the wired connection to the computer was not stable and kept disconnecting. It was also a hassle for movement, as I could only use it in close proximity to the computer. So to program the Wi-Fi, I had to connect it to power and to the computer through cable and go to this address here. Okay, the address is 172.11.2 down here. So once you come to the home page of the address, go to network configuration. So under wireless mode, choose create wireless network and country is Singapore. For the SSID, we can write it as my real Wi-Fi. This is the name for the Wi-Fi network. Channel, just leave it as one. And security, we will put a password, the WPA2 personal. The password for now, we'll just, let's just leave it as password. Okay, for configure IPv4 address, choose DHCP only. Then you can save it. As I've configured the Wi Fi for this device already, I'm not going to save it right now. So, for the network configuration, the Wi the Fi, the Myro will be the host for the Wi-Fi server and the computer will be the one connecting to the Wi-Fi of the Myrio device. That's how you make the Myrio a wireless device. So the basis for this project is that I'm going to use the accelerometer from this Myrio device. I'm going to read the accelerometer video values in the target VI in that view here and store in a shared variable where I will generate sounds using the accelerometer values in the host VI and output through the PC sound card. So here, you can see that there are three axes from the axis from the Myrio. So I have to create three variables here. So to create a variable, go to new, variable, you can type the variable name, then you press OK. So this is for main. So here, you can see that this is the main 
VI. To open it, just double click the main VI and it'll appear. It'll show the graph of the accelerometer. This is the LED status for the vibration meter. To open the circuit diagram, just press Ctrl E to show how it's the block diagram of the circuit. So as you can see, there's the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. So I'll put it through the the variable. This the and this is where they will for the vibration meter they'll read the values of the the vibration of the device. Okay, so in the other side where is the air music VI where the computer is gonna read the variables here. So it will send over from the this diagram from here to so it will read the values from here and it will send the signal of the values. So for the x-axis, for when the x-axis is at value 1, you play this signal. When it's at minus 1, you play another signal. And when it's at 0, it will not make any sound. So it's the same for the y and the z, where it's 1, minus 1, and 0. And for z-axis also. And the shake also has a variable for the LED to light up. So for these signals, different frequencies and different notes are programmed inside. For example, the signal for 1, when, when x-axis is at 1, it's a sign signal. And the frequency of 440 hertz where this is the A note and the samples and stuff, this is supposed to be double the frequency because of the Nyquist rate. So for the various axes, uh, different notes are played. So for this um, program, I I put a few notes, basically there's a C, D, E, F, for the top is G and A. So that you can put six notes, such as six, X, Y, and Z, and 1 and minus 1, so there's 6 of them. Okay, so let me show you the readings from the Myrio. Let me just run the program. So as you can see, this is the values of the, of the Myrio accelerometer. So now, the accelerometer is um, sort of horizontal. Where the z axis is reading at 1. Let me um, make this bigger. No, it doesn't work that way. So it's 1, and the x axis and y axis is around 0. So when the Myria device is upside down, the z axis will read minus 1. So when it's facing upwards, the y axis is now at 1, and the x, x, z, x and z axis is at 0. And when it's the other way around, the y axis will be negative 1, and the x and z axis will be 0. Lastly, sideways, like this, the x axis is now reading a negative 1, and y and z is 0, and when it's the other way around, the x axis is at 1 and the x in y and z axis is at 0. Yeah, so this is how the accelerometer readings work for the musical notes. As for the vibration, I took the readings from the the values from the respective x and y and z values and I squared them. And I took the square root of the values to put into the the program. So the higher the value, the, the bigger, the more lights will light up. So as you can see, now the vibration, as I showed earlier, is not so much. The LED status on the on the program also shows how much the vibration. As you can see, the bigger the vibration in either direction. 
and so the, the LED will light up so that is all for this project and I hope you enjoyed and learned something out of it thank you